Ignore my reindeer pillow. <laughs> What's up guys? It's Aurora. Yep, that's me. I know I haven't been here in a while, but it's still me. This vlog is going to be mainly about music. No, I'm not making music. I can't sing. I'm not musical. But I'm going to be sharing my favorite music with you guys. Yeah, I did a video a, over a year ago that I just gave some of my favorite songs to you guys and I recommended some stuff that y'all could listen to and so that's what I'm going to be doing for this video as well because I have a lot of songs that I have been discovering and rediscovering. First off, if you don't have a Spotify, I highly recommend you get one because honestly I got my Spotify in June and oh, oh my god <laughs> I don't know what I did before then like I know I listened to music on my phone and stuff but like I didn't have as much of a range of choices of music that I could listen to so this is like pretty cool Spotify is really great and if you don't have a, an account I highly recommend you get one and if you do have an account and you want to follow me <laughs> My username is Iguana Lover. I, oh my god. I have no like background story for that. Like there's no, there's no cool reason why I, I like make all my usernames Iguana Lover. It just, I do. If you want to follow me, you can. Um, that's another way that you guys can find new music because I'm always listening to new things. The playlist that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is, I, it's called Aurora's Feel Good Music right now. It's just some of my favorite music that I've been listening to recently. Okay, so this first song is called Runaway and it is by one of my favorite artists of all time. Her name is Aurora. I know, my name is Aurora. She got a pretty cool name. I really love her music. It's so like, it gives me like a mysterious vibe and... This one's called Runaway, and I absolutely love it. And her music is so soothing, and her voice is just... Oh, I love it so much. And I was running far away Would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody knows I was dancing in the rain So this next song is by... Probably one of the most underrated artists. I definitely recommend her if you enjoy singers like Drake or J. Cole. Her music is a lot like theirs and I think she's so underrated. Like a lot of people I don't think really know about her and that's why she doesn't get as much attention. Her name is Kalani. I love her music. Um, she has an album called You Should Be Here and my favorite song off of that album is Runnin'. But today I'm going to be sharing with you guys her newest song, it's called Did I, and it is such a hype song. Um, I like to sing it whenever I'm running and stuff, and it's... Oh, just listen. You got a lot of things to say, you got a lot of things on your plate, you even like you're trying to get out. so into these songs so if I'm like being really awkward just dancing like lip syncing I apologize <laughs> oh my goodness this next song this song is one of my favorites like absolute favorites at the moment it is called too deep by ritual featuring Delilah and it was on an episode of Teen Wolf that's how I found it and the song in general is like me. <laughs> it's just completely like all of my essence. So, uh, yeah, I'll share it. <sighs> I love it. You, but I'm still and this is the part where they kiss. Ready? Yeah. 
I'm like imagining the scene that it played on in my head. Love it. It was the part where um, Mason and Court kissed. Oh. Another one of my favorite songs right now again it's from Teen Wolf. <laughs> There's a lot of songs from there, okay? Just let me live. And I know that if we are shut out of paradise for all the words, it was never for you and I ever is here in the wreckage. This one is kind of old but gold song. I have been listening to Cher Lloyd a lot recently, especially her album Sorry I'm Late, I think it's called. And so this one is from that album. It's called Human and I've been obsessed with it lately. Like just the message and everything. I love it. Okay, here it is. Could it be that easy to let it all go? Okay, I'm obsessed with the beginning part of this song. Uh, it's called D S Y L M or Don't Say You Love Me by Ruby Rain, and I love the beginning part. Like, I I don't know. It's just. It's so trippy and oh, yeah, just listen. <laughs> Another old but gold song and I have been getting re-obsessed with it because I think I heard it in a Vine edit or something and I was like oh my god this song used to be so popular and I loved it so much so I listened to it and yeah I'm still obsessed with it. It is called Shark in the Water by BB Brown and oh I'm sure you were obsessed with it as well so let's just like row back together. Okay, this next artist is probably someone you know. I didn't know she sang until like really recently. Um, Maggie Lindemann, I don't know if that's how you pronounce her last name, but apparently she sings and I'm obsessed with like the way her, she does sing, like again, her voice is just so soothing and beautiful and I love it so much. And she recently came out with a new song that I absolutely love, it's called Things, but this one is called Couple of Kids and it is so great. I'm obsessed with this one part of it. I'll tell y'all whenever it comes on. It's so soothing and peaceful and especially this one because it like has a piano in it and it's so... Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah, this is Couple of Kids by Maggie Lindemann. Take me back to the night we met in the yard. Don't tell me this doesn't like soothe you. Oh my god. Okay, wait. This next line is my favorite part. Ready? I love the piano. 
piano in the background. I don't know why. I'm like so attracted to songs with pianos. Just they are so soothing. Okay, so this next song is by one of my favorite people in the entire world, uh, Duff Cameron, and it is from the Living Maddie soundtrack. But that doesn't make it bad. I love this song so much. But it's called True Love and. Uh, I don't know why I'm so pulled to this song. It's just so cute to me. I love it. If I could do it all over, maybe I'd do it different. And I could have had it all, could have had it all. True love, I know I had it. True love, it's so hard to find. True love, if I can get it back, I never this next song, oh yes, this next song came out last night, well not last night, like yesterday, and it is by The Girl in the Dreamcatcher, which if you don't know is Dove Cameron and Ryan McCartan's band. Their music is so good, it's called Glowing in the Dark, and it, it's so good and I'm so proud of them because I love them both and I love their band, I love that they're making music together and stuff and so this is glowing in the dark and it is absolutely shut up I know I'm so excited too they're excited this is glowing in the dark Okay, aside from Zayn, another iconic thing was released on the 29th, the 29th of January 2016, which is just an amazing day for music all around. Um, <laughs> Rihanna's album Anti was released onto iTunes. It's not on Spotify, sadly, but I have it on iTunes and I'm not gonna listen to it. Okay, so my favorite song off of that one is either Pose, Desperado, or Never Ending. Never Ending is like a sad type song. But Desperado and Pose are definitely like really high energy songs. Go check those out and buy the album because it is... Thank you. So those are some of my favorite songs that I've been listening to a lot recently. If you found something you liked, then definitely go check it out and let me know in the comments if there's any songs that you will be checking out. And go check out the rest of that playlist I was sharing today because there are definitely more songs on there than what I showed you. So if you liked it and want more, then just go ahead and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it helps me know that you guys actually like my videos. So we have like a mutual thing going. Also subscribe if you want more videos. Okay, let me talk to y'all for a second. I, y'all blow my mind. Okay, so I didn't post for a really long time and I'm, I'm so sorry about that by the way. I, I had made it a goal of mine before 2015 to reach 300 subscribers and I didn't reach it before 2015 but I did reach it so thank you all so much for that but mostly I don't know what happened but um, that one video I made about snapchat like blew up and out. I don't even know why. I gained almost 100 subscribers in the time that I haven't even been posting like what that blows my mind like oh my goodness that's crazy to me that that even happened and I just want to thank you all so much for that because it makes me so happy <laughs> if you enjoyed this video you can subscribe if you want to you don't have to but if you want to
Also comment below if you want me to do more videos like this every so often because I love sharing new music with you guys. I love sharing new music with like everybody. So. Also, um, sorry this outro is so long. I have so much to say. If you aren't following me on Twitter, like not because like, oh I want more followers, but um, <laughs> because I do like a lot on there. I ask what you guys want to see and stuff and I do polls and ask um, like what videos you guys want. So that really helps me know what you guys want to see so that I can provide it to you. I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you next week. Bye!